Hello guys and welcome to this video to talk about some of the main key points for you guys to do very good conventional impressions of your data preparations. As usual, I'm going to talk about main tips and clinically relevant key points, okay, instead of all the theories. But again, you guys have a very nice recommended reference if you guys want to take a look and there are always books. So please remember that those videos are to orient your studies and not to replace all your studies, okay? It's always important to, to remember about that. The first key point, we already have it on the screen and it's that uh, prior to the conventional impression, we need to ensure good gingival health, okay? So it's so much easier to control the humidity, for example, and then to perform, you know, a very good uh, conventional impression. So uh, if you have, for example, a lot of periodontal calculus, then of course you are going to proceed with periodontal treatment before the rehabilitation, right? So before the conventional impression of your dental preparations, okay? You may uh, want to do a study impression to, to have a study dental cast only to plan the case, okay? But then, of course, if you are going to do uh, the final impression of a preparation, then it's something different. You need to have the best conditions as possible. So in this case here, we are seeing a case of four dental preparations and probably you guys realize that uh, we are using addition silicone. So you need to know how to use uh, the correct uh, materials proportion, how to manipulate the materials, and those are all the theories. So of course you guys will do this properly, but then we need to choose the method that we are going to do, right? So this method that you guys are seeing on the screen is basically the method taken at once, okay, at one stage. So of course we have hard and soft putty, being mixed at the same time and then used at the same time uh, to perform the impression of those four preparations. Then we can use uh, also other options to expose the border of the preparation. So in this case, we use the two chord technique. So uh, one of the chords stay exposing the, the border, so the finish line of the preparation. And then the other one, which is thicker, we remove before the preparation, okay? So this would be the most superficial one, that one we remove. And only the deeper one, which is a, a, you know, a so much thinner uh, retraction cord, would stay there even during the, the impression. And then sometimes it, goes, uh, it comes out with the impression, as you guys are seeing, and that's actually normal, okay? Because your preparation borders are uh, still visible. So this is one of the methods, the advantage is that uh, it saves time because you do at one stage. So you do it in one stage, okay? However, uh, this leads us to the second key point, which is that the preparation margin should be not only visible, but in very good conditions. So dry, for example, okay? And then uh, in conditions that uh, the patient's not tired and you have uh, very good soft tissue conditions and then you can do your uh, impression, okay? There is the third key point also, which is very important, and that's uh, to include enough teeth on both sides, okay? So even if you use a partial tray, then, you know, don't include only a few teeth, you know, you should uh, use at least the hard putty uh, to include more teeth, as you guys are seeing on the picture, okay? However, you guys can even do in a different way, so you, can, you guys can do in the two-staged approach, Okay, and in this case, you can also use the retraction cord, but then we are going to do this in two different stages. So first the hard putty, and then you are going to create some space for the soft putty, and we can even uh, uh, prepare those notches here. You guys are seeing those notches in the yellow circle, and this will help us uh, to orient us to know the exact place of the tray in relation to the mouth of the patient, okay? So that's very good because you need to come back to the mouth of the patient in, uh, to insert the tray again, right? So and that's why if you have, for example, this notch at the K9, then of course you are going to come back to the same area and to insert in the same area those notches, okay? So first you use the hard putty and then uh, you check first the quality of the hard putty Check the quality of the borders of your impressions, okay? It's very good to capture, you know, the soft tissues at a very good extension. And then uh, you'll be able to, to use the soft putty and uh, do the impression again to capture the borders of the preparation. So the finish line of the preparations, as you guys are seeing in the picture, okay? 
and then you can rehabilitate the patient. Here you guys are seeing temporary crowns, but then you know if, if the uh, impression is very good, then you can proceed with the definitive crowns or you can try in the coppings. So then you have several other options, okay? And that's why we need to uh, consider the fourth key point, which is, of course, select the adequate material and the technique, okay? So use the manufacturer instructions to make sure that you're going to manipulate the material correctly, okay? And all the theories that you guys learn in prosthodontics. Then you are able to manipulate this material in a good time, so not too slow and, of course, not too fast. And then you guys will have uh, the integrity of the dental tissues in your impression. And that's actually what you want, okay? As you guys can see in this image. So those were the key points of today. If you guys like, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and see you guys on the next videos.